Clark, do I look okay to you? I'm not in a hurry. Always. Why? People are looking at me funny. Have a little paranoia with your coffee this morning, Lois? No, don't start. Where were you last night? I called you a couple times. Oh, at the police station. I stayed there while the detectives interviewed that homeless guy. And what? Am I on my way to the big house? No, but this young rookie cop did ask for your phone number. I'm only interested in one man in blue. Oh. What? What's going on? Grow a second head or something? I just want you to know what you did took a lot of guts. Lois, what in the Sam Hill was that stunt you pulled last night? Our publisher's been all over me like a bad rash. I don't know what you're talking about, Chief. I'm talking about your virtuoso performance on the late news. You were on the news? You know, if you have an opinion to express, you might consider using our editorial page. I wasn't on the news. Are you saying you weren't at that anti-Superman demonstration last night? What? Of course not. I was only eating chocolate. Cottage cheese, chocolate flavored cottage cheese. It's new flavor. I was doing my laundry. Lois, you come with me, dear. I think the citizens of Metropolis have a right to ask is the Lex Luthor's blood on Superman's hands? Now, I could be wrong. I mean, I've only worked with you for about five years, but I'm seeing some remarkable similarities but here. That's not me. It's some kind of sick joke. And Clark. It's no joke, Lois. It's a cry for help. What you're demonstrating are signs of post-traumatic stress. Short-term memory loss, erratic behavior. But I can help, if you let me. <laughs> no, thank you. Now, Lois, you know I'm not one to meddle in the lives of my reporters, but I would strongly suggest that you take the good doctor up on her offer. Perry. Lois, maybe he's right. Well, I can't. We have to attend Lex's will reading. It's part of our series on the breakup of LexCorp. Yeah, but that's not till this afternoon. That gives you plenty of time to have a nice little chat with Dr. Carlin. Lois, go ahead. I'll meet you back here in a couple hours. Come on, son. <laughs> 